Welcome to Ground Love S Live. We're back on the air by Dr. Hello Empire Radio. And right next to me is one of the premier ladies of hip hop. Say word. Premier. Oh, yeah. Say word. Premier. <laughs> Yes. All y'all female rappers, include you, Nikki, your pink ass wigs and shit. <laughs> this your mama. That's right. She showed you how to do it. Two story and three, you need to recognize. So stop arguing <laughs> with Mariah and recognize the real. Ladies and gentlemen, history. Sherry Sher from the Mercedes Lady. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank you, thank you for coming And, and, and we still get homage to Nikki because you're doing your thing doing this thing. time and it's hard for no the females doubt. in the rap game. No so doubt. You make us stay good. No doubt. Yes. I was telling them I was watching some early stuff of her last night, yo. Nikki was a beast and she still, I yeah, mean, exactly. she got it, That's man. What said. You know, she, she, and in, yeah. the, in the female yeah. genre, it's very hard. So it's for a female hard. to even get through there, you got to give her like... You got to give it you up. You got to yeah. give it to her. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. something else, man. I was talking to a friend of mine recently. We were talking about the, the music business and budget-wise. And, you know, most labels know that it actually costs more to promote a female artist right. than yeah. it does mm -hmm. to promote Why? a male artist. You know what I'm saying? You said why? Yeah, what, what is your definition of why? Well, a lot of it has to do with makeup and clothes. Right. That's that's right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the boobs and all yeah. that. You know, all that extra stuff. You want to get And yo, and makeup is expensive. I didn't realize that. But it's that part shit. of the contract. What's okay, right. the package is my talent, and right. then I need this done, I mean, that did. done, this, 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 yeah, it's That's what that. I mean, yeah, so yeah, it costs yeah. more, yeah. which makes it even harder, mm. <laughs> you have to be really special. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, nice. yeah, yeah. so yes, it's been a long time, um, uh, Martine, yes, yes Martine, how are you, yes, I, 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 I actually purchased a book, and thank I, you, thank you, for I read support. it, I really love this, thank you, oh my god, I read it, and it's like, I, you, you, it's, it's hard because you know when you read it and then you're sitting right there and then all the stuff that you've been through and it's, oh, it's yeah. amazing. It's, oh, a, yeah. it's amazing. This is something where I think people should read mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and take into account. Like it's, it was a hard, hard road. It was but very easy. interesting. It, it, when I wrote that book, I wanted to capture uh, actually is all the females mm -hmm. that grew up in the hood and that even till this day mm -hmm. wow. have these issues but nobody True. wants to hear their voice mm -hmm. unless you True. sitting there showing what you got mm -hmm. and, 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 and becoming either a sex symbol or something like that nobody wants mm -hmm. to hear your voice mm -hmm. so this book app is absolutely is representing all the females of the come up from the hood and when I say hood not in a negative way I think right, yes, right. that's our culture that's mm -hmm. our thing the hood is what gave us the hip hop that's culture right. so True. it's not a bad thing when I say the hood, hood mm -hmm. I mean this is representing all the women in the hood mm -hmm. that didn't ha that had a voice mm -hmm. and did not be heard. It was never heard. That's yeah, powerful stuff. Isn't it yeah. good to hear an intelligent female? <laughs> stuff right I mean, we have our own. But she with us every week, but we have somebody <laughs> come out. Yeah. And I had to clean that up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we got yeah. we got we got we got walk to the train station together, right? Because yeah, she would come on the it. side and be like, "What's going on? What's going on? Tell me." I'm in here, everything on. What's my ass? 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 with the Mercedes ladies and coming up in, in the times of when it was just an all male arena, yeah. it, it was a thing where if you read, I'm quite sure you read the book and, and, and it was what I was thinking in my mind and I I think when you're born God puts something in your heart and it, and when you could recognize it, I, I knew that I wanted to do something and be something mm -hmm. and I wanted to be heard but I just right. didn't know which 
way to go mm -hmm. because back then we didn't really have no uh, mentors as young black right, females. Right, right, right. So right. our mentor actually was our mom in the house, our grandma, whatever, yeah. you know, and they gave you that a, a thing of staying strong and all of that. And I came right. from a household of 11 wow, and me, yeah. we never had a steady home. My mom right. raised us by herself. Wow. Mm -hmm. So not having a dad there was a, 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 a really uh, important thing yeah. in my life, yeah. but I had, but it, when you grow up in that way, you're forced to deal with things. Mm -hmm. And as I look back now, I'm glad I went through that because that right, builds your character right, of right. who you are today. Right, and right, if you right, can't go right. through that, you can't go through nothing. Mm -hmm. That's right. As going through the trials at home, I started just going outside. I loved it to be outside. It just was outside. Okay, right? <laughs> and then I ended up meeting some girls that just loved to be outside. Right, outside. <laughs> they loved to be outside. Yeah. And then I knew my mom was the type of mom, she wouldn't come and get you, but she look out that window. Uh -huh. She seen you. She yelling out the window, yeah. bring your ass upstairs. Yeah. So I was very clever, very intelligent. Yeah, right, right, right. So I'm like, I, I know that's what she gonna do. I'm gonna start getting up the block. Yeah, yeah. But I know she gonna leave the kids. Oh no, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. She's not. I'll get it when I get home. So once I learned that, yeah, yeah. I started hanging out uh -huh. in different areas and stuff like that, and end up meeting other females in the same like as right. myself. Are we talking about the Bronx? Talking about the Bronx. Okay, okay. All day. Yeah. All right. And then that's when I end up meeting uh, NC. Um, Smiley, Renee, right. Renee, Baby D, and Ever Def and Zena Baby Z. Baby D was Flame, right? Was no, Flame, no, Flame had a different name. I, I'll get there. Yeah, get there. yeah. yeah. Well, you, know, like, you gotta, gotta read the book, though. Read the you book. gotta read okay. the book. Okay. So, and I mean, so when I met them, when I met them, we was just like started going to. We started going to the blocks, and then we right. seen guys out there DJing and all that. They was yeah, older yeah, than us, but yeah, we were yeah, younger, yeah. you know. But we was like, wow, wow. wow. Yeah, yeah. So it was like when when I met them, they had the same to meet females that had the same thing I had in common. They didn't have no dad at home. Right, right, they came right. from single parent homes, right, right, and right. they was you know, and they also had this eager and this hunger to want to be something. Right. So uh, we all came together on just like on the rim. Yeah. And um, so I'm just trying to like speed up the story because you got to read the book. Yeah. But yeah, what yeah. I'm doing is sure, trying to take yeah. you to that yeah, paraphrase, the nose version. So yeah, yeah. we got together and we wanted to start a, a female group which wasn't going to be rapping and DJing, right. a female group that we was going to promote parties mm -hmm. and then oh, we was going to take okay. the money and start our own club. Oh. And we actually was going to start being promoter, female, the right, female right, promoters. Right, right, right. Right. So when we came up with the name of Say These Ladies, which was me, who came came up with it, right. Little Bit, right. and R.D. Smiley, and Tracy T. We're the ones that was, wow. came up with the name Mercedes, Mercedes Ladies. Yeah. And so we just decided that we was going to go to the parties uh -huh. and just represent just the represent name the yeah. because we're going to yeah. start our own parties yeah, and get parties. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then in our mind, we was dreaming big from right, young girls right, in the right, We was right. like, yo, we're going to start our own club. Right, right. So, right, right. Um, to, to make the story short, we started getting the name out there. We would show up at Grandmaster Flash's That's parties. Yo, we was, clicks, yeah, we would, we, and then we would have that sweatsuit. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Say these ladies. Right, right. So, nobody, we knew, was, we right. was, and we started recruiting females. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before we knew, we had a bunch of females. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> we were the captains. This is what y'all gonna do. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and the crazy part, and not in a bad way, we was right. actually developing a, a, like a little click. A click. Yeah, yeah, a gang. Yeah, right. A gang. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. And I always say, gang is yeah, not yeah. always in a negative it's aspect. I mean, so, political parties are gangs. You're more that. than five, and you come down there with the same stuff on you. People yeah, don't look gang. at you that way. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. That's real talk. So, All you gotta do is look in the house where exactly. you're like, this is a gang. Yeah. So we um, <laughs> decided to do this thing. So we started showing up at all the parties with our sweatshirts. Right. So the name started getting popular yeah. because a lot of the dudes just like saying it in their rap. Mercedes. Yeah. Young lady. Right. And then we would be in the parties and we'd be oh, like, yo, yeah, yeah. that's our clip. That was our group. Yeah. And you messed with before y'all rapped or anything. Before we rapped right, anything. Right. And we was known, we was just showing up just in up. numbers, all females. Wow. Now, at that time, we seen the Red Devils used to be out. Uh -huh. and, uh, and, and and the girls from the um, uptown, Eatmore. Eatmore. Sisters, mm, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So they used to be represented for breakout, and then they right. had the, the Red Devils that so used to be rep representing for um, Boston Road. Right, right. So right. we actually was getting this up, thinking about them like, yeah, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna be, we ain't gonna be following no dudes. We're gonna have our own shit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. then. Wow. 
we started going to these parties and then our names started getting catchy. Then when you be getting a party, as soon as we walk the door, you hear the MCs, Mercedes. So it started getting like popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so. They started putting it in their rhymes. Yeah, so yeah. Popular. So you know, yeah, like, yeah. you started getting out weight, like, yo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that attitude, like, yo. That's our first appearance was at 63 Park. And we came out there and it was like, oh, the first females that rap uh, group coming out. Everybody just came from all over because mm. 63 Park was actually the schoolyard. You know, everything was yeah, going in the schoolyard. Yeah. So when we did our first gig, we went out there. Everybody showed up like, oh, female rap group. So we went out there and it was like one for the money, two for the show. Come on, baby D, let it roll. And it was just on. Oh, yes, yes, yo, you know, it was that. Yeah. And the crowd went bananas. Mm -hmm. And in the middle of it, then it was like pow, pow, pow. It was a shootout. And we was like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. You know how it was back the shit up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but our first debut was it. And from then on, everybody's like, oh, I'm going to say these later then. So our hustle was on. We just was getting... Shows yeah, from yeah. street corner to street corner to street corner. Never was getting paid. Right, and right. the only thing is, is that we wasn't, even though we was getting our recognition and we was doing that, but we wasn't getting the same respect and love That's as right. the male. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, of course, exactly. And it was till what, like, it ended up being like uh, four DJs, two, I mean, two DJs, four MCs, and the rest was our crew. Mm -hmm. We had like about 15, 16 wow. chicks following us, we wow. say ladies. Wow. <laughs> we was actually gonna go ahead of and fight. People because deep. it was like yo deep. Mm -hmm. yeah it wasn't no we was behind no dudes it was all us yeah 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 and um how we met La Spank is that um during all of this uh baby D met La Spank right and she, she came afterwards she then. came afterwards mm -hmm. and baby D met La Spank and introduced her to the crew so she was gonna be the third DJ and she right. actually became the third DJ okay. and then after she stayed with us for a minute then after right. a year she left and developed her own crew up on Queen okay so, I gotcha, yeah. I gotcha, I gotcha. So, see I right. know the story I gotta be yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, and the same I mean, days like knocked them out the box when they came in. Yeah, they came in yeah. at, yeah, 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 at the yeah, T yeah. connection. Yeah. And um, the thing is, is that we did our thing as far as the inspiration for the book. Um, after I did all of this and went mm -hmm. through all of this, mm -hmm. it came a time where everybody, the girls got tired. We didn't know what we had. Right. Mm -hmm. right and Russell right, Simmons yeah, had yeah, signed yeah. us when he was going to do the can can. Wow. And then at the end, he decided to snatch that. And then it was chaos because we was all going through our own thing. Own yeah. Because yeah. when he gave us that deal, me and my sister, we just got evicted. So we was like, wow, we got, wow. that's okay. So that's when okay. this happened, yeah. it was just all of that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what made me write the book, it was just I'm, through my life, as far as my mom, my grandma, all the girls I came to know and love, the sisterhood and all that. Right. So Nobody was representing telling the truth from the eyes of a black female growing mm -hmm. up in these times, mm -hmm. growing up in the hood, yeah. period. In the South Bronx. And anywhere. Yeah. And then yeah. I, yeah. I ran into chicks from anywhere, yeah. and they was like, it's been rape, it's been Story's drugs, it's been trying to drown my pain, right. but nobody's right. listening. Right. And then when you looked at hip hop, it, hip hop was just being represented as if I'm a female, I gotta shake my ass, I gotta show this, right. I gotta right. be represented by the male who's gotta make me on how I'm supposed right. to look. Right, right, right. Right. Not my talent, and so all of this, and going through the struggle, and then almost losing my mom. Mm -hmm. I say I, you got to take bad times and turn them into triumphs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you read the Bible, it says whatever well, thing you go through bad, you got to make that good because that that's bad right. is to build that's your right. character that's and right. who you're gonna make be. You who yeah. You are. So going through all the stuff, I'm saying I didn't go through this stuff for wow. nothing. Like, what's really going on? Yeah. And actually, it made me discover my other talents. That damn, right. I'm a hell of a writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't. A, I didn't get through as a rapper, but I'm a hell of a writer, and I still mm -hmm. got my skills to rap. Yeah. But what gave me inspiration is going through all of the struggles and everything, and trying to put it together. Where if any female read the book, she's gonna be like, damn. Wow. I went through that because there's so many voices as far as in, mm -hmm. in, in females that have that can't be heard in the hip hop right. generation. That's true. Unless you're talking that you can bounce your ass, I really ain't trying to they listen trying to, to you. Listen. That's yeah. right. So right. how do you, as a female, get a male to listen to you when all all they think about is okay? Your can you body, bounce it? Or yeah, you, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. okay, <laughs> really? You know. So as far as writing this book, I I, I really wanted to be a I. And also had the experience. Mm -hmm. And if you go on YouTube with Karis One discuss my book, he mm -hmm. wrapped it right up. Wow. For somebody and it's coming from their story and their mm -hmm. view to mm -hmm. actually be able to go and nobody else is telling their story. Mm -hmm. I don't need nobody to tell my story. I worked hard to be published and it was the right. hardest thing to do. Wow. Mm -hmm. And it actually became the first female hip hop no um book that was um uh, novel mm -hmm. published oh, in nice. hip hop. Wow. Yeah.